Well, you talk about what is, what do you, what's your identity? What are you going to hang your hat on um, every night? Um, even when you struggle offensively, you've got to be able to rely on something. And for this team, that something has been our defense and our ability to create deflections. We want to get our hands on the ball 30 plus times a game. And we want to turn people over. Um, in doing so, it allows us to convert um, or have an easier or higher conversion rate in our transition game, um, especially when you turn them over in the backcourt. So we've been really focusing in on our full court pressure. We've changed up our defense in the half court where we're sometimes trapping, sometimes we don't. Just really trying to keep our opponent guessing. Two and one in SEC play with three huge games coming to town. Talk about how important that is to, to sweep all three of those. It, it's, it's critical. I mean, every game in the SEC um, carries a lot of weight. Um, and, and even though, you know, you have South Carolina and Kentucky who are ranked, our Missouri game is going to be a tough game. Uh, we always battle with them. They're well coached. They're disciplined. They have players that can shoot the three. And when you play a zone as a zone coach, um, you, you definitely worry about that. Can they get hot from the three-point line? Um, but every game in the SEC is going to be a battle. And if we can get those three, um, I'll be uh, very, very happy. But we're going to take it one game at a time, uh, one opponent at a time, and make sure that we stay in the moment. We don't want to fast forward and look ahead at South Carolina. Um, we want to take care of business and put a great uh, performance out there tomorrow night for our fans. You talk about staying in the moment. Um, you look a year ago and you guys have already eclipsed the win total from last season. Can you talk about the turnaround and what it's been like so far this year? It's, it's been great to be um, healthier. Uh, that's been a key for us um, this season uh, that you can look, uh, look at your bench and you can sub people in. Last year we had one uh, sub. So uh, I like the fact that we can go deep in our bench. It allows us to really get after our opponents, but everybody is doing their part. And when you can play 10 players with 10 or more minutes, it gives you different lineups. It gives you different um, game planning where we can go bigger if we wanted to with our true bigs, or we can go faster and quicker with a smaller lineup and play a little bit of small ball. Um, but no one should be tired because we have somebody ready to come in. And the level of play has maintained itself um, with our bench, which has been key for us. Do you feel like you have more talent playing together and also more confidence on the court? Definitely. I mean, when you're led by, you know, the Reggie Moncrief and, and Chloe Jackson, they definitely bring a lot of confidence to our team. Um, but we're going to continue to challenge you know, Alexis Hyder and Ayana Mitchell and um, Jasmine Rhodes, who's playing out of position, Tatum Newbert, our post game to also bring um, something more to, to the table and continue to do that. Um, it's, a, it's a team game, and so everybody's got to take responsibility for their role. And um, if everybody can play their role um, to perfection and really put that performance out there, then we're going to win a lot of ball games this season. Speaking of roles, um, when you recruited Chloe Jackson to transfer, to LSU, what was kind of that conversation? What did you really expect out of her? And um, Did not recruit her for her defense. Uh, definitely <laughs> recruited her for her ability to score the basketball. You know, she's had a tough road. You know, Chloe is one of those young ladies who highly recruited, went to NC State, um, injured um, her freshman year, had to sit out when she transferred. So she really hadn't played basketball for almost two years. And to see her just reap the benefits of all the hard work that she's put into getting back. Um, just so proud of her for, for being um, just resilient in her effort. And she's been a tremendous asset for our team and she really is a, a true freshman. And I forget how young Chloe is because you know when you have somebody that's been in another program set out, but as far as playing college basketball, um, she's not playing like a freshman this season. SEC Player of the Week. Um, hopefully, she hasn't even peaked yet. How do you keep her to kind of keep her game at this level and higher? Uh, it's it's her and her teammates. You know, we're going to call certain play action, but the selfless play of her teammates to get her the basketball was just as important as her making the shots. And I think she had 34 in one game, 22 in our game against Arkansas. Um, she's been very consistent for us in knocking down the perimeter shot 
and she's somebody that also has led us in assists. So not only is she um, putting up the points, she's trying to get her teammates involved. But I like the, the, the unselfish play of our post game for screening for her, the guards for giving her that extra pass, and then believing in let's allow Chloe to keep going and, and, and rack up those points because those points go on the LSU side of the scoreboard. I know y'all don't really look at individual awards and honors all that much, but um, when she when she got the SEC Player of the Week, what kind of went through your head and what did you get to tell her? You know, honestly, I thought about time. <laughs> you know, I think we've got um, two unbelievable guards. The combination of Raging Moncrief and Chloe Jackson, I don't know if there's too many teams that have that type of dynamic duo, especially in the backcourt. Uh, two young ladies who not only are scoring the basketball for us, but also, as mentioned earlier, Raging Moncrief is leading the SEC in steals and fifth in the nation. And uh, Chloe is right there with her too. And, and so they've been great to have, not only on the offensive end, but what they've been able to do defensively for us. And coming up with the defensive plays that we needed, especially in that Arkansas game, to seal the deal. Chloe had a huge steal um, to, to allow us to, to win that ball game. Anything else? So close. The team has found different ways to win these games, about, about six-ish points above the opponent. What does that say about the resilience of the team? Well, you know, as a coach, you would ask, you know, do you like the game to be a one point or 10, 20? You know, you're always going to go for that double-digit number. But a lot of things are revealed when your team is down nine with 420 to go in the game. And it's in those moments that you enjoy the, the grind of coaching and the grind that they're going through. Um, not that you want to be in those situations, but when you do have your back against a wall, um, who are you? Are you a fighter or are you a quitter? And this team has shown that they're fighters. And so our job through athletics is to just make sure they're productive citizens, make sure they get their degree, um, but also continue to foster what's inside of them. And I saw a group that fought in I like what you know. I like the fact that we did. I don't like the fact that we had to get down to do it. Um, we always want to fight for 40 minutes, but their resilience and their will to not quit was very refreshing to see. So we have we've had great season so far, but what do you see that the team still needs to kind of work on? Uh, uh, do you see? Do you still see problems? There's always going to be holes in in your game. Um, I think we've got to be a much better rebounding team. That sticks out to me first and foremost. And when you're smaller and we go to our smaller lineup, it allows us to disrupt people 94 feet, um, but it challenges us, us, us on the boards. And so I think we've got to be um, better in team rebounding and not necessarily just leaving it up to one individual. And then the other area, um, we struggled um, in the game against Arkansas in, in making layups. Um, I thought that hurt us, and, and that really um, is something that we work on on a daily basis. So you want to see those type of things, layups and free throws, got to make those, got to get that percentage up. Um, but just continue to grow, take it one game at a time. Um, I think we've done a nice job of, um, as far as defensively, our package is good. I feel strong about that going into any situation that this group really believes in their ability to, to defend. So we're going to keep challenging them to be better. Um, in those areas.